I have some bad news. Uh, this is probably the third day or fourth day that we've been doing this, and we just realized that the stain isn't applying the way it should be. So, we decided we don't like it, it doesn't look good, so we are gonna restart. So I went to the store, uh, so I went to Home Depot uh, yesterday, and I got a bunch of, so I got a stripper, some spirits to clean it up and whatnot. And currently I'm stripping all, all of the wasted stain that we put on there away. Plus all the old stain that was on there because I decided I might as well just strip everything off, sand it to the wood and then just, um, okay. So yeah, so right now all I'm doing is getting the strip, the old, stain and whatnot off. I use that remover. I think I might actually have to put more here so it comes off. But as you can see, it's like already working. Like all of these old spots and whatnot. I have a timer on my phone for about 20 minutes. That's like taking care of it all. But I'll show y'all real quick how I did it. So I basically just grabbed this, put it on a spot. And then I just grabbed it, a paintbrush that I just bought for it. And then I just go with the grain, just like that. A nice thick coating. And then you just leave it. Hopefully this gets done right. If not, I'm gonna lose my shit. And I'm just gonna buy a brand new table because this is a pain in my ass. We should have done this from the, from day one, but we listened to too many like other opinions and then we got confused. And since this is the first time we did it, it got confusing. But now hopefully this works. Now I'm gonna go inside the fumes are very strong and I'm not wearing a mask. So I'm gonna go inside, eat, then come back and then I'll show you guys how it looks like. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes and now I'm gonna start scraping off the stain that we wasted and i'm gonna put this on because the fumes are getting to me and it's giving me a headache so let's do this thing look at that look <laughs> one scrape that's 20 minutes and it's already already took everything off <sighs> to say i'm frustrated I'm kind of upset it is Tony down but I mean you live and you learn now we know how to do it right and now we know how we're gonna do it so whatever you can just take the lessons that you get in life and just learn from them no need in, no use in complaining so I'm gonna start scraping everything off now uh, and I'll come back to you guys in a second Look, so, as you guys can see, I scraped all of it off. Well, not all of it, some of it's still on. I might do a second round of that solvent to take the rest of it off. Totally forgot to grab the camera, but we started on these pillow inserts, like, I don't so know, So like you see ago. how this is. So see, this yeah. is what they look like when they're inside out. Yeah, and she left a gap so we can stuff them. And you always make sure you re uh, do a, so reinforce it by reversing on the sides on the stitch and also there too. So, the other day, Omar and I went to Joann's. They had a 40% sale and literally there was like two people in there plus the employees, but everyone kept their distance and had their masks on, so we just kept our distance. And we got this fabric. It's a tiny bit stretchy, but it's more like of a I think it's considered linen. I'm not 100% sure. We got this for the bench cushions. So this will cover the bench cushions, which I cut. I showed you guys that. So we got two of those. And then we just got plain, really soft, like white fabric for the pillow pillows. Because the benches are gonna be all matte black. And I was like, well, not everything can be black. So I got white. So I got white 
fabric for the pillowcases. My mom had scraps, so I was able to make inserts with the lightest fabric that she had. So that was really convenient. Then I saved some money. But this was actually pretty cheap. We didn't have to spend a lot at all. Oh, and then we just bought a bag of this polyfill is what it's called. Premium polyester fiber fill. It's just filling for like pillows. But we're thinking like once it's spread out, we don't need too much. But now that I'm thinking about the bigger pillows, we might need to buy another bag of these. All right, now it's around two. sander got the little thing of a bob on there and it's time to sand just like the rest of the stain and whatnot off on the sides and then on the top so let's get started I've already like cut and sewn all of these. Ooh, they look like this. These are gonna be the pillow inserts and I've already done five of them. And then where's the baby one? There's a little baby one. And then we got these ones. So basically I told my mom I wanna make inserts so I went through her scraps and just found like the lightest color and we made a baby one <laughs> and then we made five of this size this one and these are just going to be like the actual pillow inside the pillowcases which we probably won't get to pillowcases today but that's okay and then my mom just did this big one and then we have kind of small one, this actually. other big one well it doesn't need to be huge because the bench is not that big okay. right. we still need room to put our books 